Good time zone, everyone. Welcome back on this Thursday on Horde of Tales. And we're here with some special guests for a special one shot today. My name is Marcus, also known as Ditch Individual. And today, we're going to pretend to be a bunch of kobolds hiding out in a trench coat in three kobolds in a trench coat, a session that will be run by our kobold master, Maida. Oh, <laughs> it was her all along. There she is. <laughs> and coming along for the ride are two fantastic people who are so nice to join us here today. We have joining in here Indrani and Shubham. Hello there. Thanks for being here. How are you doing today? Thanks for having us. And yeah, thanks for having us. And I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm I'm now awake after seeing everyone reveal their true selves. I feel nice and awake, and I'm ready to get up to some shenanigans. Are you feeling better, Indrani? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I I saved up all my energy over the last two days for this. I was like, I'm just gonna stay in bed, curled up, and 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 it, it'll be worth it. And it was. For some context, I got my booster shot. Please get vaccinated if you haven't already. Uh, but uh, yeah, so happy to be here. It's th th these glasses. Okay, so my nose is really flat, and this glass is like pinching <laughs> no. it further in. You can't get very hard to breathe, breathe right now. now. No, 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 I'm committing. It's fine. Okay, this is fine. I'm very impressed. Co <laughs> no boy. Commit committing to the bit here. That's uh, that's dedication. Now, once again, so nice to have you. As mentioned, today is a special one shot. We're going to play three kobolds in a trench coat, which is going to be run by Ida. And I'm just going to, at this point, you know, I'm so used to talking a lot on these streams. I'm going to, I'm going to shut up for now and I'm going to hand it over to uh, Ida to take us in for this ride for today. Ida, what are we going to do? Holy crap. All right. Um, welcome everyone. We are today going to play a one shot of a TTRPG called Three Cobalt in a Trench Coat. And it is a, an indie game that I found in that really big TTRPG for Trans Texas Bundle. And there's like this beautiful gem buried among all these other shiny things, like the good cobalt I am. I uh, looked into that and that looked hilarious. And this is a game by um, at Caledron. And it's a very easy game. The players like don't need any sort of prep or understanding of the rules. Uh, a GM can easily just kind of like get into it. So it's like very low, almost no prep. But uh, because I'm me and I like pulling on certain strings, I thought to make this a very special um, one shot that sort of links into the existing uh, Eberron campaign that we have with a uh, Horde of Tales. So, um, Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll let you players decide. Would you like to hear the hook first and then create our cobalt? Or would you like to create your cobalt and then get that hook in and then start the game? Um, create the cobalt because then it will be something really incongruous with the hook and that would be fun. I second that, yeah. Marcus, do you, do you feel strongly? Yeah, no, but I agree with... Uh what uh, Shubham and Indrani said. So uh, let's do that. All right, so we're going to make some cobalt. Um, for, for the purposes of just very briefly the setting we're gonna be playing in, um, there are other cobalts in the world. They exist. Uh, they exist in all facets of ways. They exist from, um, you know, 11 days level cobalt to like uh, BBEG, Artificer, Grand Wizard, Lich, Cobalt. Like there's all sorts of facets of cobalts. Um, and you get to decide what kind of cobalt you want to be, but you're the kind of cobalt that nonetheless decides that hanging around three of you stacked in a trench coat is a good idea. So let's have that be our foundation. So first things first, all cobalts have a name and they have pronouns. So I'd like to hear who your kobolds are. Does anyone have an idea? Uh, hmm. Hmm. What is a kobold? Like, is, are, is there a specific naming convention for kobolds or do we just go wild? You can go wild. Like you'd okay. be a kobold named Click or the other one can be called Clack. You can have a, I had a kobold called themselves um, Wonderbread. Uh, 
plastic cup. Dandelion. I'll, I'll be called yeast. yeast. Oh wow! Of course. Yeast. What and are my pronouns are she, her. Gotcha. Okay, yeast. I, I I feel like there's a this is the beginning of our convention, so we'll go. I'll go with. Uh, hmm. Give me. Uh, I'll I'll go with mold. <laughs> okay, mold. Mold it is. He him. He him. And I'll be um, I'll be uh, barley, but the full name is <laughs> Barley B Bucket. And, Amazing. Uh, but he uh, he understands if people don't want to do the full name. It's Barley Barley B Bucket. He him. Cool. Barley. Oh boy. So I have my dear kobolds are yeast played by Indrani, co uh, pronouns for the kobold we she her. Mold, the kobold played by Shufam, he him pronouns, and barley be bucket uh, played by Marcus pronouns he him. If I, if I accidentally call you barley be butt, it's because I scribbled bucket so fast it looks like butt. So that might happen <laughs> tonight. Barley be right. bucket does not matter. I look forward to it. Butt. All right, so we have our three kobolds. Now, all kobolds in this game have three stats, right? And I will explain what the three stats are. Uh, the first stat is, I should have this away, is called trench coat. The tr okay. You have a trench coat stat. And the right. trench coat stat represents a kobold's physical abilities. So this can be anything from like how beefy your, your thighs and calves are, potentially at the bottom, uh, how flexible you are, how athletic are you a good break dancer anything that has to do with like muscles strength dexterity is called your trench coat stat the second stat that all kobolds have is a sunglasses stat wow the sunglasses stat is a kobold social skills so anything to do with persuasion uh lying smooth talking convincing these are all synonyms for persuasion uh, kind of stats. So that is the sunglasses stat. And the third and final stat that all kobolds have is the, bear with me here, the fedora stat. Wow. The fedora stat is a kobold's mental, uh, mental abilities. So this is how quick they are to find things in an environment. This is how quick they are to make smart conclusions about what is going on or connecting ideas or solving puzzles or complex idea. So Got those it. are the three stats. Now, Got my it. dear kobolds, you each will have a total of 16 points and you get to allocate those 16 points anywhere you want within these three stats. However, lower is better and you must have a minimum of two for a skill. So let me copy paste something to you because that was a lot of text. I, that was a lot of explanation I gave you. And I'm the sort of learner that uh, <coughs> I like to have like a visual guide. For so that. 16 total, right? Yes. It has to add up to 16. Got it. Yes. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Got let me it. share some text with you. And in the meantime, while our kobolds are thinking about their stats and you're going to share them with me when you have them, uh, welcome to anyone else coming in. We are running a one shot of three kobolds in a trench coat. And we have some funny uh, mechanics here at this channel as well. Should any time at at, during the session, uh, a fluffy cat enter someone's uh, camera feed, mm. you if you have the channel points, you can spend them on something called Cat Vantage. And what Cat Vantage does is it gives any player of your choosing advantage on your next roll, including mm. the GM. Now, this is a game where the GM actually doesn't get to roll for anything. So if you give me advantage, I'm going to give the next person disadvantage on the roll. <gasps> Evil. Oh. That's mean. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hi, the cat. Shivam, yes. get Minnie. Uh, Constantly Minnie is... make her, just, just hold her in the center of the screen. Yeah, that's going to work out for me and yeah, my face. I don't care how many cat. times you get scratched. Just do it. <laughs> You're welcome to, to meta, to strategize at this point. Uh, I, I have test uh, played this game before, and I notice a lot of people say, like, I want to be the face. So they pump everything into that. I want to be the bottom. But mm -hmm. I also found that personally, who wants to be the bottom? Outside in, 
<laughs> that sometimes it's a bit limiting to pigeonhole yourself when you like really go all in one thing. But that right. is completely your choice as well. And just because you're a power bottom does not mean you're ever not going to be on top. There is a dynamic True. for the positions within this trench coat also switching no matter what you're good at or not so good at. Right. Hmm. Right. Oh God, fuck it. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was about to happen. Okay, interesting. Uh... So my dear Cobalt. All right. Oh, wow. Well, let's let's be a little. We don't know what we're gonna get up to, right? Mm -hmm. So no, knowing that, mm. what what are you leaning towards, Marcus? Which of so, these uh, states do you want to play into? So, uh, Barley B. Bucket, um, I'm leaning towards him being known for uh, two things. Uh, he's considered pretty smooth talker, but also a real idiot at the same so he time. he thinks he's a smooth talker. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm, I was thinking of putting in, putting in sunglasses too, but at least going for Fedora 10 to, right, he's, right. he's really, he, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's the most charming tool in the shed as far as a tool can be charming. I love that. What about you, Mold? Uh, no, no, you go first, East. I'm curious as to what you have in mind. Well, see, my my general instinct in every game I play is to be like, yeah, let me max out intelligence. So my uh -huh. first instinct is to go like, I'll do Fedora 2 and then take it from there. But uh -huh. <laughs> let's switch things up a bit. I'll I'll be the muscle. I'll be Ooh. trench coat heavy. Yeast right. is Yeast is like just the right kind of fermented bread you know when it's overproof it's too slack you can't really work with it if it's underproof it's too tough so you lost is you your lost mother. everyone you're the sourdough starter exactly yeah natural um, um, fermentation exactly so uh yeah my my middle name is sourdough <laughs> oh, <laughs> my last right. name is starter <laughs> <But> <laughs> so i'll be the trench coat heavy i'll put two in trench Let's say, yeah, yeah, four in trench coat and okay. and and then um, the next lowest will be fedora and then sunglasses is what I'm thinking. All right. So we got muscle. We got um, a person who thinks they're um, smart. The face, so to say. All right. In that case, I'll I'll actually be the brains then. Go. Let's go with that. Uh, so in this case, I'll go against type because I never play the face. Uh, sorry, play the brains for a good reason. Um, I'll go with two on Fedora and uh, let's make it... I'll balance out between trench coat and sunglasses. I'm just figuring out the numbers. Math. All right. So you can see why. It, give me your uh, final stats. Sure. Uh, let's, let's see. There we go. I got uh, Barley B. Bucket mm -hmm. has a trench coat of four. Okay. A sunglasses of two. Yeah. And a fedora of ten. That is That's a grand total a lot of, of fedora. So that means you're bad at fedora. I'm bad at fedora, but I'm very good at sunglasses. Okay. That's a that's something. <laughs> okay. Here are my stats. Gotcha, yeast. Yeast sourdough starter is a two at trench coat, gotcha. a six at fedora, and a 10 at sunglasses. Wow. OK. Yeah. All right. I've, I've gone like deeper into this. Uh, trench coat, 11. <laughs> sunglasses, uh, three. And then fedora, two. Does that add up? That does add up, right? Five. Yeah, 16. OK, cool. <laughs> I'm clearly the fedora of the group. Excellent. All right, Kovals. So these are your, what you think you bring to the team uh, in terms of the, the trench coat dynamics. Now, Kovals, all Kovals also have a specialty. They ha there's something else, a talent that they bring that they think helps them convince 
others that they are not a kobold. You know, like Ryla uh, in the um, uh, Last Dragon Prince was the name of the, the, the cartoon from Nickelodeon from on Netflix. She's like, yeah, hey, Ryla, human, Ryla. hey, human fella, friendly fella. Her specialty is speaking in this like uh, her specialty. Her self perceived specialty is speaking in this Midwestern accent and saying these asinine things that she thinks humans speak. So that's her specialty. Uh, one specialty cannot simply be being good at human. So you can take the time to think, what is your weird thing that you think helps you be a better not kobold? And I'm going to copy paste some a table that the game itself brings as recommendations. Are we also allowed, instead of picking one ourselves, are we allowed to roll on the table to You're pick one randomly? You're allowed to roll. You're allowed to pick or you're allowed oh. to create. I'm going to read for the audience as well a, a list of the suggested specialties. Oh, um, I know. Picking oh. lots. <laughs> using a bird call to send signals. Scuba certified. Fluent in German, which will be reflavored to Zemnian. Um, <laughs> knows all the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody, which is a known song in this world. Canon. It's definitely canon. a vampire, or definitely not a vampire, or or speaks in a Midwestern accent like Rhino, or... 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 I know <laughs> the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, oh, so... damn it. Okay, fine. There are so many good options, though. Oh, my just... God. Okay. No, like, here's the thing. I know that the, the Dracula accent is overdone and really, like, has a history of problematic stuff. But it's so much fun to play around with. At the same time, with little things. Exactly. Like I am a vampire. But also, um, at the Do same it. time, freestyle rapper. Like the the potential for me embarrassing myself is so it's high. It's so I'm I'm already cringing. Shabab. It it would it it will end in such beautiful disaster. I will go with freestyle rapper. Oh no. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna start writing some now, just to be ready. <laughs> if anybody's played Jackbox with Shabham, there's that it's... that freestyling game in Jackbox. It just never goes well. For him. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm and so excited. Barley B Bucket, do you have a specialty in mind from this yeah. list or one of your own choosing? Ah, uh, this is so hard because there's so many good ones on the list already. And you know what? I'm just gonna put my fade in the hands of the die and i'm gonna roll my d12 and i'm gonna see what it gonna gives me I kind of course of to be seven in, <laughs> man that would be what would, would, wouldn't that be fitting like yeah, but then no one else speaks it and that'd be hysterical that, that's the great thing <laughs> so do what you do ah oh, you're tempting me the seven is good <laughs> and i can you know what you know what you know what i'm i'm, I'm flu I'm, I'm fluent my bu bucket bit or Barley B Bucket is fluent in, in German slash Zemnian. So, uh, I love this for us. Also, Say er, something er in, in er, er möchte, er möchte gerne diesen Teppich kaufen, aber er hat ja kein Geld dafür. Uh, so it's, um, he, uh, he would like to buy that carpet, but he doesn't have any money for it. So uh, let's see how useful this skill will be. <laughs> uh, Wall oh. thinks that Barley is actually just dumb and so just starts blabbing. Uh, talking in a different language when they're like the circuits are loose. So every time Mol uh, Barley speaks in Zemnian, Mol, uh, Mol just kind of goes like, "Stop it! Stop it! Get back to reality! Stop summoning the devil!" <laughs> all right. So we have our specialties, and the last thing that all kobolds have is a quirk, some some little flaw, some little broken thing that tends to pop up and break that illusion of not not being a kobold. Uh, mm -hmm. So Ryla's quirk in this example is a physical one because she has four fingers and not five. But let's say her quirk is that she's always like doing this or something like. Mm -hmm. it, she saw humans do it and humans look very excited in doing this. But if, if, a, if a human walks up to you and is always like this, you think something is up and something is weird. Like that is breaking. So right. this is what's called a quirk. And you're welcome to think of your own quirk that is something that can break this illusion. Or And I will also send you what the game recommends on their rollable table. Yeah, what's interesting, <laughs> on the rollable table, one of the quirks is afraid of spiders. Which reasonable good human is not afraid of spiders? I, I will. I'll, uh, uh. So uh, the list includes things like afraid of spiders, 
bees, and it's just the word bees. <laughs> <laughs> Always gets left and right mixed up. Oh, um, hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. It's true. Okay. Thinks that they cuss like a sailor, but the word they think is a cuss is pancake. That's fucking hilarious. Or anything along this thread. Something that breaks the illusion that is just not done right. Like when you oh. sing Bohemian Rhapsody, you do it right. Like everyone like gets up. But oh, man. going a bit These too are... much into CrossFit is a bit breaking. Okay, here's the thing. I could totally do the CrossFit thing just from because I don't stop talking about running. Yes. But but imagine a freestyle rapper who thinks pancake is a cuss word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the pancake. Up, up, pancake. So you yeah. cuss yeah. rock, basically. Yeah, cuss rock. Yep. Okay. Yo, I serve you a milkshake and then I punch your face, no. you dumb pancake. Oh <laughs> my god, this is amazing. I, I actually can only hope to deliver on this. Okay. Or any of your own imagination as well as welcome. Or roll on the table. Or pick. Oh, hey, Indrani, number seven for you. Must enthusiastically greet every dog. What am I just making myself like this? This, <laughs> this cobalt is a representation of me IRL. You yeah, it. yeah, you named her a yeast sardo <laughs> starter. So I think we're down that path already. Fine, yeah, I must greet every dog. I feel like this is a perfectly normal human thing to do because if it's not, then I need to talk to my therapist about it. Right? <laughs> But yes, that's over what I'll go with. Over enthusiasm, like to the point where you kind of stop everything you think you were supposed to be doing and like, dog. Yep. Like like this level of 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 beyond. Yeah. I was abandoned I think... as a child and the street dog was my only friend, so <gasps> Aww. Yeah. I came I came here for three cobbles and a trench coat and some laughs, not some fields. Oh, <laughs> bad cobalt time. And Barley B. Bucket, what's your quirk? Well, Barley B. Bucket really likes the letter B. So, um, oh, it's yes. Bees. It's bees. So, B, the it's bees, the insect? It's bees. Just bees. Your quirk is lots of, lots of, lots of bees. 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 Lots of bees. Okay. I have like, he likes to. Have his bees with him. Somewhere in the trench coat, there's always something buzzing. I can see the GM panicking. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys are making this like really easy for me. Like this is just going to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Let we have now our cobalt. Uh, so very ever so briefly, would you like to introduce? Your kobolds, now that you have them a bit fleshed out, what they're good at, what they bring to the team, and something that might make it harder for the team to work as efficiently as it could? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, who are you playing tonight, Indrani? I am playing Gista Saudo Stato. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I am incredibly strong, incredibly agile, but I, I am not the most, uh, what's the word, charming person. So I can come off a little strong sometimes. And I love dogs. I love dogs so much. If you walk by me and you have a dog next to you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give your dog a little squish or two and, and maybe a few treats. So sorry if your dog's on a diet, I guess. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my past. <laughs> I am just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm just a poor kobold from a poor family. And uh, I, I moved away. I hoped that I would, my life would be spared from this monstrosity. And my mom said, it's going to be easy, come, easy, go. And I was like, will you just let me go? And then my dad <laughs> from the other room was just like, no, we will not let you go. And then my cousins, we all, it was a big family, we lived together, and they all just joined in. They were like, Bismillah, we will not let you go. They thought my name was Bismillah, but it's not, it's yeast. Um, and what have I gotten I just, myself into? <laughs> it, was, it was just a hard time, but uh, I made it out, and now I'm here. Okay. Thank yeah. you, yeast. 
It's nice to have you on the team. We'd like to go next. Marcus, you want to take it? I'm going to do my best after this one. <laughs> Hi. Name's Bucket. Barley B. Bucket. I, uh, I'm a man of many tongues, among them Zemnian. You know, in, in, in Cobalt, they say, I really like you. But in Zemnian, they say, Bitte nicht bei Rot über die Straße gehen. Which translates to, please don't cross the road, road when it's red. Which I think is very romantic and lovely. I'm a real charmer, as you can notice. Very smart as well. Especially when it comes to the topic of bees. You want to talk about bees? Bees are great. They have wings and stripes. I love bees. Oh, I love bees. That's me, Barley Bee Bucket. Buzzing out now. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Yo. <clears throat> Yo. Yo. <clears throat> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> yeah, my name, my name is uh, on the man, man taking mold. It goes M M O M O to the L D. Yo, it's all toast to the wall. It's cobalt time, yo. Yeah. <laughs> If this keeps going, uh, I'm going to have to go back to my mom and say, Mama, I just killed a kobold. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, don't pancake my uh, wraps. They're, they're legit fresh, right off the oven. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. You know, listening to you, it, 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 it sends shivers down my spine. My body starts aching all the time. <laughs> Guys, gals, and non-binary pals are three kobolds. Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. That was amazing. Thank you all so very much. And now it's time to find out what the heck is going to be happening. <clears throat> all right. So, my dear kobolds, and our wonderful audience as well. If you could imagine that the camera is panning in on Delphine, our half-elf paladin from House Lorander, during our weekly streamed Eberron campaign every Tuesday at 7 p.m. GMT plus one. <laughs> the grind well, she's the a... merchandise. <laughs> While she's at a, a sundry store, picking out a beautiful bottle of Korjeva to treat to her fellow party members. Korjeva is this very potent gin that is made from a special berry that is found on the continent of Zendrik. Zendrik in the world of Eberron is this far away place, a separate continent and is covered in jungles and in the ruins of um, giants from ancient long days. Delphine pulls like one of these very audacious touristy bottles of Korjeva and it's like really tall. And because Zendrik is associated with volatile positions of giants, there's this like, ha ha, grinning giant holding two other bottles on the label. And she goes to pay for it. As she's paying behind the clerk as this transaction is taking place, there's a shelf behind them. And on that shelf is like this dusty bottle with a very high price tag like we're talking double digit gold pieces kind of here it's like a hand calligraphy label denoting that this Korjeva is from a place called Molu's distillery and now from this little store the camera kind of zooms out and we have this flying scene as we go across the entire globe of uh, the continent of Corvair heading across the seas and over to Zendrik. Mysterious Zendrik. And within Zendrik specifically, the port city of Stormreach. Now, Stormreach, once upon a time, was lauded at, as this pirate hideout and a haven for smugglers. And is now, you know, after the war and everything, thriving under the ruling care of the Stormlords. 
and the Storm Lords, who they are. And they are the five represent they're representatives of five hereditary noble houses who may or may not have gotten their starting in said piracy and smuggling. Now, our evening starts in Stormreach, in this bustling port, smallish city, in front of an impressive tavern with this large brick building that is labeled Molu's Distillery. Now, this is common knowledge to you, Cobalt, and to anyone else in this place. Molu Lassite was the first leader of his family and one of the original five storm lords. Malou himself was a smuggler and an expert in brewing, said Koryeva. The current leader, some generations now past, is Varin Lassite. This is a human family. And he is a very well-liked storm lord. Least of all because of the wild, lavish, exclusive parties that he holds at his family's distillery. And tonight, on this beautiful, let's say, late spring night, is going to be one such party. And Stormlord Vassite is probably celebrating some new business arrangement. The tavern that is attached to Malou's distillery is going to be offering like this brand new uh, herbal blend of the prized Kurieva Jip. And this place is absolutely packed with people. Uh, people just generally excited about a new drink. There's uh, adventurers and investors who are like celebrating the successes they had in the wilds of Zendrik or crying into their cups about everything they lost on these failed expeditions to Zendrik. However, the Storm Lord Varen Lassite is holding an exclusive party for his exclusive guests in the back room, the famous tap room. The tap room is supposedly this inner sanctum within the distillery where Stormlord Lassai brings his guests to drink Kurieva straight from the tap. My dear kobolds, you want to drink this. And as far as you know, there are no kobolds or small-statured guests invited to this exclusive party. Mm -hmm. So your goal tonight is to get a drink of the good stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to take my glasses down to look at the map. Yes, <laughs> by all means. <laughs> and um, for, j just to give you an idea of uh, where you're going to be playing, on the uh, on the screen you have a map and just imagine it is cramped full of people there's yelling there's people toasting shoving crying there's uh waiters uh, servers uh, going back and forth with trays of full glasses empty glasses ale wine mostly gin though and it's a smooth operation with one long bar towards the front and it's interrupted by that gap you see in the middle in front of which stand two very large individuals who are just kind of standing there at attention facing the entire chorus of merry making now my dear kobolds some uh, mechanics explanations at this point There will be a sort of initiative, so to say, or, or rather uh, an order in which things are done. And you each get to do one thing. Like we're not, it's not an action movement. You get to just do a thing that will cause rolls. And you only roll when the thing is interacting with, even though there's dwarves, half elves, tieflings, etc. we're just gonna call them humans for the sake of this game tonight. So. When you are in your trench coat and interacting with humans, that requires a roll, and I will determine whether it is a sunglasses, trench coat, and fedora roll. And basically, you're going to roll your d12s and subtract uh, the uh, the amount. And if you roll equal to or above your stat, you succeed. That's it. It's like yes or no. It's going to happen. Gotcha. Right. And within this uh, trench coat, it's always a free action to just, what's going on? 
down there, right? You can always talk and meta to the other, your fellow kobolds within the trench coat, no problem. Uh, there Do we are... have to worry about getting like getting caught when we're doing that? Do we have to always find a corner to, yeah, that's all. The goal of the game is not only to complete your task, but to ensure that no one realizes you're three kobolds in a trench coat. Yeah. So you have that's to be good. a little sneaky about things. Uh, there are roles within the trench coat. So uh, the person, the kobold on top is the head. And the head is responsible for speaking and for basic looking around the room because they're going to be at the highest points, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the other position, the, the bottom, is called the legs. And they're mm -hmm. responsible for any movement or stealth or acrobatics, this kind of thing, even though it's just all called um, trench coat in this case. And the kobold in the middle is responsible for any sort of interaction or the arms. Because this is Eberron, you're going to have like some cool little geared contraption that goes into the sleeves of your trench coats, and you will nice. have basic arm movement for picking a pocket, for slapping someone's face, for holding the back of their head and pu pulling them in for passionate kiss, whatever, whatever the arms want to do. All right. Awesome. All right. Um, where are we at right now? Are we inside uh, the, the general party area where it's super crowded? Or are I would say that we are still in? outside of the okay. tavern. And let's see. One more thing. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> at all points, there is a kobold in charge. And the kobold in charge basically means that they get to go first. They can take their action which is related to their role or whatever they're able to do. By role, I mean sunglasses. Uh, by role, I mean head, um, head, uh, body or legs, arms or legs. And they just get to do it first, whether or not they consult with you. And then the next two follow. If at any point you decide, no, I want to be in charge, you get to be in charge. And I will explain to you a mechanic to uh, change this initiative order, so to say. Got it. Gotcha. So, my dear kobolds, let's say that you're outside of the tavern, so the south part of the map where it's kind of grassy beyond the doors. Mm -hmm. And the three of you are just kind of sitting like outside. You have your backpack with, you know, the trench coat and uh, whatever spectacles and hats you have to hide your kobold face because mm -hmm. you're not kobolds. So I'm going to stop talking so much now. <laughs> My dear Cobalt, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? So, uh, you're all sure this plan is going to work? Yes, yes, I of mean, course. Why wouldn't it? It sounds oh. absolute foolproof. We have a code, we have disguises, and we have good conversation topics. Exactly. Go with the conversation topics again. Yeah, just just go anywhere the wind blows. It's gonna be fine. That's 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 one conversation topic. That's good. That's sure. good. Sure. Uh, the other one is what 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 was the other one again? Yeast. I. What, what was the other conversation oh. topic? Uh, the other conversation topic is is uh Beezlebub. I don't know what it is, but be that's be that's Beelzebub. the other topic. It's a great topic. It has bees in it. So exactly. That's, a that's why I picked it. Yeah. All right. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Lofty energy. Uh, and and uh, Mold, Mold, you, you know what the third topic was. The third topic is do not talk about the gin that we are trying to drink because it's just going to call attention to us. Yeah. See, this is one I was thinking about this on the way here. Hmm. But you were if thinking. We're trying to get, okay. if, if, yes. I, and I have to say that thinking. That that, mm -hmm. that made my that made that hurt a little, but I was thinking anyway. Mm -hmm. um, if we're not supposed to talk about the drink mm -hmm. we want to steal, mm -hmm. how are we gonna find it? Well, when you when you don't talk about the drink, you don't kick up a stink, and then you're on the brink of getting to the point of success mm -hmm. in this little sink that we call Malou's Distillery Inc. <laughs> Mold, you smooth ramen beast that you are. See, there's a bee in there as well. 
that was great. And that explains it to me. You should explain things in rhyme to me always. That flow, it just makes me glow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now uh, it's infectious. It's, it's oh, amazing. I can, I can see we're already starting to lose yeast over there. Yeast, wake up. I, I just, I like, I just, I like feel like, sleep again. just feel like I'm caught in a landslide. There is no escape from this reality. At this point, while the three kobolds are kind of discussing among themselves what they're going to do, um, the door to the tavern swings open. And as the door swings open, you hear that raucous of noise from inside. And you see like the sea of bodies that are pressed up against each other. And out stumbles a half-elf person, kind of slumbers forward. Quick, everybody around, get in the trench coat. Yeah. And ducks in between his legs and starts hurling. <sighs> I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the top so I can give a view on things. But someone do the legs. I'll be the legs. Okay. I'll go in the middle. I'll go in yeah. the middle. Awesome. Taking taking control of these little mechanical arm sticks. Like Rrr. perfect. I'll just peer over and like just see. Uh, uh, aside from this person who's just hurling. Is there enough space to like just go past them, or like are they just blocking the whole way? They're 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 a couple of feet beyond the door, and they're just like puking their brains out into onto the sidewalk. And the door swings open again, and out comes a half orc, looks around, uh, sees the individual in the coal. Was like sorry, goes to the puking half elf and just kind of starts rubbing their shoulders. You shouldn't have done that. That was... What were you thinking? You're not going to win a drinking contest against them. Oh, you idiot. Oh, my shoes! Uh, uh, There's a drinking contest? I, I, I yell up to the top. We should uh, participate. Prove our metal. Maybe if we do that, then they'll let uh, us into the back. I look down at the middle and be like, find out about the drinking contest. Wait, I okay. look down to the I, I look down to the to, to the bottom. Could could you could you get us a bit closer? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeast. And I'll start moving towards where where the orc is coming. I'll just like try to smoothly just slide across, make my way in. And I'll okay. just say, carry on, carry on as I'm walking and by the as orc. We are now going to start an interaction with humans. I would like um the person the kobold that is moving the whole contraption to give me a trench coat check. So this is trench of, of physicality. So roll your d12. Uh, if you roll uh, equal to or above your stat, you succeed. Yep, I rolled above my stat. Perfect. So you hop on each other's shoulders and whoop, the whole operation just kind of leans forward like belly first. But you kind of walk, maybe do a little swagger over. Keep it together. You want to talk? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, what? How? How you do you used to say? Uh, yeast, easy come, easy go. <sighs> it's fine. I'll never let you go. Oh, it tastes <laughs> as good as it does going out as it did coming in. Ah. It sounds delicious. We really do need to get a taste of this drink. Uh. <laughs> What, what do you see? What do you see? Now that we're inside. Are we inside? I can't tell. You're, you're, you're still on the, uh, on, in the outside of the tavern. Oh, right, Barley, Barley, ask them about, about where the drink is. Where did they get this drinking competition what, what, going? You, 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 you're, on, you're on top, man. Uh, it would be weird if the belly starts talking. I don't think the bellies of humans talk. It's, it's, I'm mold. Yeast is at the bottom. I'm so, um, my, I'm oh. so Just sorry. Just because um, we're both micro based names that doesn't mean that we're the same person okay, okay okay it's fine i'll try to talk i'll try to talk okay but shall i give you a tip what to say okay you, re remember remember the conversation starters okay yes okay bees is all i remember Beezle right now bub. Beezle bub. anywhere Beezle the wind bub. goes you guys are the worst uh i <laughs> i will i will lead over uh out of like the head pop out a little and be like hey there buddy you should have watched yourself before you wrecked yourself, but now that you're free and it's all kind of spilling out, maybe you can spill the beans to where the other bees are. And in this case, the bees are the drinks. Tell us where the drinks are. And he's 
that continues hurling his poor contents out and kind of just barely missing your feet. But yeah, uh, you'll, you'll avoid for this case. Fair enough. <gasps> it's there. Kind of tiredly gestures at. I'm not going to describe what cuts this <laughs> side off. It's chunky. Okay. <laughs> it's chunky. Um, like, it's like. Uh, you know what? I, I would say I, uh, I'm, I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to set the little liquor counter up on fire because I'm raising the bar. So you should keep an eye out for us. Um, and I, I, I'll be like, okay, guys, let's go, let's go. What do you want, man? I, 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 it's fine. You told us what we need. It's fine. You just t have some water. Oh. I know a person who will always have a lot of water and then never have hangovers. It's like a superpower. Water, water, and they just kind of lurch up and helped by their friend to start walking off into the night. Right. So, I, I understand y'all want to head into said tavern. Yes, and mm -hmm. ideally find this drinking competition, maybe. All right, so exactly, definitely maneuvering the uh, I have a question. The remote control. Yes, tell me if you wanted to switch positions, mm -hmm. do we need to find a corner and switch so, like? Or is it just hope. like a? It would switch. be ideal if you had like particular eyes on you to switch that out. But as the DM, I will also say like if it's like super crazy crowded and you just like another body in it, it might be okay to do that. Right, mm. right. Because I I look up and I say you're doing such a good job, uh, but maybe maybe uh, B Barley, maybe you should be the person talking. Right. All the rhymes might confuse people. Not that they're bad rhymes; they're great rhymes. But of course, I'm a brilliant freestyle rapper. Yes, hundred mm -hmm. percent. But consider it. We don't have to, but just consider it. All right. Okay. Tell me where to go next. Uh, so the 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 hands uh, on your operation just easily enough because this is Eberron, and there's like really cool steampunk technology and grabbers, kind of go into the door handle and you pull it open and you could walk the whole operation through the door and you are in this jam packed bar the floor is sticky it's loud and per you just perfect. see like bodies and bodies in front of you perfect chance to maybe shift around a little to right. change the order a little bit perfect yeah I'm happy to drop down a level you can come up Okay, but here's the challenging thing. How do I come up while you come down? Um, I'll come down first and then you climb up. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So, okay. yeah. Uh, I give you, I'll help you. I'll help you. Like, I'll, 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 right. I'll lower you down. All I'll right. lower you down All a right. bit. Okay. You, want, like, you want like butt first or, or like crotch first? Like, what do you, what do you, how do you prefer? Oh, this is a devilish dilemma. But, this you know, is... today, today is a butt day. So, okay, uh, got it, got it. I'll turn around and like slide yeah. butt. Good, good, good. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, awesome. yeah, you got it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to get up on your shoulders now. So okay, okay. Uh, oh, got it. Uh, oh, you, oh, oh. If Whoa. anyone was paying attention to the individual that just walked through the door, as hundreds have already tonight, they would see that this trench coated figure. Their shoulders suddenly collapse inward. Some sort of, I don't know, things come punching out of the sides. Uh -huh. And then the shoulders suddenly whoop, raise mm -hmm. back up and a little snout peeks through. Just as I, it was I imagine. I imagine it looks like some terrible body horror for someone who doesn't know oh, what's happening. Sure. Like, the, like there's some weird morph going on on the inside. But then there's the bloop, other kobold hat coming out at the top. But no, absolutely, definitely not a kobold hat because it's wearing sunglasses. It can't be a kobold. It's true. Oh, yeah, all they, right. Like sensitivity. All right. So because we're going to have a lot more humans in here, I would like everyone to roll me a fedora check. And this will just determine the order in which your actions take place for whatever uh, human interactions Oof. there will be. So tell me what you Oof. get. So wait, wait I, I roll and then it needs to be... Yeah, uh, roll your d12s and yeah. um, and tell me your scores. And I'm going to subtract it from your Fedora scores, which I have written down here. Oh, okay. 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 
Uh, I rolled an 11 minus 6, to the 5. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I rolled a 5, and I have a fedora of 10. Ooh. Okay. So do I have a minus 5, then? Yes. Cool. Amazing. I, a, I rolled a 10, and I have a fedora of 2. 3. God. Wait, so can, can um, our arms just, like, part a little bit of the coat to see from, like, waist level or just a little above waist level? You have a <laughs> yeah. peekaboo hole. Okay. As the, so the middle and the bottom, they have a little peekaboo hole. So okay. bear in mind how much you are able to see at your respective heights and also from a peekaboo hole. You're not blind, cool, cool. but you rely a lot on the uh, top. Got it. So I believe the initiative order right now is yeast, followed by mold, followed by um, barley. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you are in this, inside this tavern. A lot of, lot of uh, excitement, a lot of yelling, a lot of smashing of tables. A lot of glug, 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 glug sounds. Mm. So, Yeast, is there anything in particular you want to do? As you're in charge for now. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I look up to Mold and I say, Tell me, tell me who the dumbest person here is. You're smart, right? Let's go to them so we can dupe them and get what we need. But, but there's also the drinking con... I I really want to do the drinking contest. We should do both. Drinking contest first, and then we do the dumbest person here. Okay. Why uh, are you whispering? Because I'm the belly. The belly shouldn't be talking loudly right now. Yeah, there's yeah, so many true. people. True. Okay. Well, there's just, so many people here. They don't. Just, just go start the drinking contest. We'll get some information from people there. Okay. But you gotta tell me where the drinking contest is. I just see feet. I, I look up at 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 Barley and be like, "Where's the drinking contest? Where, I, where's uh, the drinking contest?" If you'd I'm... like to ascertain where a drinking contest could be, I would like you to roll a fedora check. Alrighty. <laughs> all I all I got, go well. all I got all I gotta do is roll above a ten on a d twelve. That's not impossible. Yeah. It'll be fine. It's a nine. Ah. Uh, that was close. Coincidentally, in Zemnian, nine means, well, no? nine. Nine. Yeah. As in no, but it's also mm -hmm. like the nine in the English, which is nine, but this is completely unrelated to the drinking contest. So, uh, Cobalt Master, um, what happens? You're, you're looking around to see if there's this af uh, aforementioned drinking contest. And uh, in this space, there's a lot of different uh, races and individuals, and of course, languages being spoken. And you hear in a corner uh, someone saying, Oh, history by the Flymark was echt nix, or nix, nee, was stomme dinge daar. And you're like, that sounds very familiar. It's like related to something you know, but it's not. It's worse than what than, than that Zemnian language you spent so many years mastering. Sounds Inferior. like a di sounds like a dialect of Zemnian that is developed in a very swampy area of the country. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spoke Dutch, Marcus speaks German. Uh, uh, we, we caught up. We caught up. We figured, uh, yeah. Okay. I, 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 look, I look. I I look down into the code. I got a target. Uh, I think. Oh. I, <laughs> I got a target. Okay. Okay, let's go. All um, right, all right, let's. Left, right, where? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Turn, 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 turn a little bit. Uh, turn a little to the left. Yes, right. Okay. Okay. Right, yep. Yeah. Oh no! You just no. see the body do a weird horror twist, and one person <laughs> turns left, the other one like, goes yeah. right. Yep. 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 Oh. It's like, it's like we're it's like we're a giant owl. Now the head yeah. is like twisted 180 degree. The body points in the other direction. Whoa, oh, whoop, turning the head around. But is is it that guy? I just I just see a little silhouette of a man. Is that the one we're supposed to go to? <laughs> and I quietly <laughs> make my way over to. Make him away. You the, the operation 
heads in the direction that is pointed out to you by Barty, and you reach a table with a with a stout uh, dwarven woman, and you see that um, they have a like nicely trimmed mutton chops going down their face, and they have this kind of short haircut that is gelled and spiky and dyed like kind of this orange and red color sort of hot and spicy haircut mm. and spicy haircut. <laughs> i'm just Sounds crashing delicious. on the touch tonight and um you see that she's uh, enjoying like this big mug of frothy ale and at the table with them is a uh, other uh, dwarves, let's say, just all kind of like yammering towards with each other in this strange non-Zemnian uh, speech. Mm. Okay. I, I'm going to quickly, if, if Marley allows this, I'm going to quickly become the head for a moment. Let's see how I like, this. Bar, okay. I don't I don't expect it that you do it, but at a mo yeah. I like notice that you start climbing up. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, okay, he has a plan, and I just go back oh. down. Uh, All right. right. So it, either yeah. way, it's Mold's oh, turn. In would the be initiative. nice. I'm holding you both up. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Now keep it up. Um, and I will <laughs> lean towards the lady with the mutton chops uh, and be like. You with the mud and chops. I like you make me think of like lamb and all hot and spicy. I gotta say that girl, like I would want to try some of your iced tea. Um mold roll me a sunglasses check to see if you'll try some of you, you can try some uh, of your iced rolled, tea. My sunglasses is uh three, I rolled a five. So that succeeds. So Whoa. She looks absolutely like kind of slack jawed and everyone else is kind of like, what is this person doing? But as you continue your smooth rhyme, she's like, me? Me? Yeah, I see that you got your walls up, but you know, like the funky Zemnian accent, you got to get them down before the flood comes in. Excuse oh. you, I am not Zemnian, but I can give you some of my iced tea and she kind of grabs the back of a bar stool and just kind of unceremoniously tilts it and the person who was sitting goes flying off and Amazing. mentions it. Wait, uh, mentions sit, it? Mention, like... Mentions for you to come sit. Oh, okay. Uh, we, uh, we're like, oh, oh, sit there. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use my peak hole to, to guess where like the side of the table is so I can maneuver us in. Would you describe how three kobolds would sit as a human on one chair to oh, make it look oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. sitting? I just want to uh -huh. hear the description, please. I got it. I got this one, okay? Uh, I am going to sit with my legs folded like an Indian pundit style. I don't know what the English term for it is, mm -hmm. but we got call it. it just mandi marke bedna. <laughs> so I'm going to sit, sit like that. The person on my shoulder, you're going to have to like lie down, okay? Just lie all the way down. So God, that Martin. like this, and then it's like this, and the other person, yeah. right? The third one, the one on top. In this right. case, mold. You're gonna just sit like cross, uh, like with your feet, just like on both sides of right. of, uh, of barley, uh -huh. and sit up straight. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I got this. Very stiff, like as I try to hold jacket up that is now basically just hanging off me, and <laughs> like I. And, 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 and as she was gesturing you to sit down, yeah. her words were slurred. She's just swinging a bit, as is, as are all the other people at this table. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll, I'll tap the, uh, the, the counter and be like, three. Wait, no, fuck. One. Wait, I'm, I'm, Barley, Barley hears you say three first, and with yeah. the mechanical arms, he, like, he he tries to form three, but he puts up five, and then you say one, and he holds up three again. Oh, no. Make me a trench coat roll, Barley, for how dexterous you can get this order out. Here we go, trench coat roll. I have four in trench coat, and I roll a five. Excellent. Nice. So it's like uh, this one or this one? 
this one the 70 and 3 <laughs> <laughs> one 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 hey, you get the right number one. <laughs> order order one for the lady i i whisper up do you have no manners are oh, you saying this to me uh like uh She's uh, obviously uh, oh, having oh, a Sharn iced tea. Oh, oh, the, the, maybe, maybe she, maybe she likes bees. Order something with bees. Okay, uh, a honeysuckle for the ladies. The, oh, the, the server perfect. that comes by, and uh, waits, uh, kind of waits over, and here's your order. Mm -hmm. A honeysuckle, you say for the lady, and they are, um, uh, let's say this, um. This sort of a uh, pale blue skinned uh, tiefling with sort of uh, silver mohawk hair. And uh -huh. they're wearing um, this uh, clean uh, white blouse with black apron tied around their waist with a tray over the shoulder, like honeysuckle. You do mm -hmm. happen to know that that is one of the ingredients that's going to be in our special gin tonight, yes. Uh, uh, of course I knew that, yes. What does that have to do with my order? Well, Perfect. That'll be a gold then for the bottle. Put it on our tab. <laughs> oh, that's good. that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tab. I, yeah. I, I'm going to need a sunglasses roll for this. Yeah. Sure. Make it till you make it. Uh, uh, all the, all the humans have a tab. Oh, nice. I rolled a nine. My sunglasses is a three. Success. To what name? Uh. Um. Malu. Just say Malu. Say that uh, we're distant cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, you hear as this like as this rumble comes out, like <laughs> uh, Malu. Yeah, to Malu. Say, say, say we're say we're the cousin Malu the 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 fifth the fifth. Yeah, uh, Malu the fifth. And uh, as I say fifth, I'll try to be like hold. I'll be like put up five. <laughs> <laughs> I put up four. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Once removed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is getting good. Good story, man. I I am so sorry. I I was not aware you were here for 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 the private function tonight. One bottle coming up. Excuse me. And they go to leave Excellent. to get your order. As the uh, dwarf we... woman is like, oh, "Are you famous here?" So next in initiative would be um I guess Barley. Oh man. Barley. Um you get to dictate or decide. Even okay, from your so position, um, there are things you can do. So yeah, the 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 the, the dwarven uh, the dwarven lady who is now asking us if we're famous. Uh, she had like these mutton chops, right? Yes. And like she's she's leaning in, she's saying like, ah, are you famous? Mm -hmm. And she got I just hit on by someone famous now. I just mm -hmm. I just want to try to position our arms so that we do this cool leaning backwards <laughs> and. I want to adjust our sunglasses and then just try to, I'm not sure how I would convey this, but I want to try to convey to our face right now to like, while I adjust the sunglasses to like lean a bit forward and do this. <laughs> and... Oh, I can help you. When, when, if you mumble that out loud, I'm just gonna jerk our entire body forward a little bit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so you're like, yes. yeah. Instead of like a smooth. <laughs> exactly. Like, and it should all come together, and it's really like, mm. mm hmm. Well, in that case, let's have a group check then. I oh. would like from Yeast the trench coat roll to ensure that this physicality goes uh, smoothly. I would like from Barley uh, the sunglasses roll because you no, you're doing a trench coat roll because you are like adjusting those sunglasses dextry. And I would like from Mold that sunglasses roll as you like ooze this charm. I am killing I it for now. Ten. So it's okay. good. Five. Oh no. Oh no, what, what happened to our body? I was doing the trench coat roll, right? Yes, to, for the yeah. dexterity of, of flapping the sunglasses, right? Okay, I have a four in trench coat and I rolled a two. Ooh. Okay. What is happening with you and your just below rolls? Shivam, quick, grab Mini. We need advantage right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's going to take a hot second. All right, so if I understand it correctly, mm -hmm. the, the server goes to get your order. 
the dwarf the dwarf woman is fawning over you and the whole body just kind of leans forward uh the cobalt glasses on top go is... down oh they don't because you fail so we just lean forward that's it <laughs> you lean forward there's this beautiful white sharp smile and just this oozing of personality but you go kind of all the way the, the sun the sunglasses themselves don't move far off your head and they're uh -huh. kind of just perpetually like stuck off your thing and you just kind of knock into the woman's face sunglasses first oh wow so you're like right up in here uh so right you like to finish the scene ah uh, like it's just something about your eyes that draws me in it's like uh they're like moonlight uh you know reflected in the lake um uh, it's like uh what what do it makes me want to say to hostmage <laughs> i'm trying to you really you really paid attention to my zemnian lessons great I was, great is that zemnian <laughs> As as the dwarven woman is just kind of soaking this in, the um, server comes back, and with this beautiful bottle of uh, Corvea with the signature Malus Distillery label on it, and um, opens it for you, provides these very special fluted glasses, and serves you and the table, and says, "If you have your invitation." then the private gathering will be in the back behind the bar past the guards mm. have a lovely evening thank thank you uh oh. i'll look down at Bar barney's below me right yeah 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 okay. uh you think you can wait first of all cobalt master can i see an invitation on our drunk patron the mutton chop lady you can suggest someone who's in a better position to look to do that. That would be a fedora role. All right. Any one of you two want to figure that out? It'd be great. Well, I would trust Barley with many things, but not with a fedora role. <laughs> okay. I can yeah, do a fedora role. Hold on. How about this? Because we're sitting and I'm at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Can I, in a very scandalous attempt, under the table just peek out of the trench coat and if if, if there's enough space just like make my way out because it'll just flop right and hopefully no one notices while i'm gone yeah and 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 just take a quick look and see if i can just any the invitation yeah off the of... pants have wandered off sure i i will but... Because you happen, to, like you said, you happen to be sitting and eyes are like torso up. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to notice a sneaky little kobold detach themselves from the trench coat and just scamper underneath the table and kind of quickly rifles through these inebriated people's pockets that are immediately at their waist. And what you mm -hmm. see is that a lot of them have uh, these sort of dirty boots uh pants but ones that are well worn some are a bit patched some are a bit starched so you already oh. get the impression that if the party was... is meant for exclusive people they're not going to have these invitations on them right should we then can i while um while they're still sitting mm -hmm. just like make my way to the edge of the table and peek around and see if there's anybody who's like i don't know hovering near the entrance to the 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 back area where the fun stuff is happening or people who are like intently moving there so that maybe we can tail them and grab their card and as i'm moving by my fellow trench coat friends i will say um goodbye i've got to go <laughs> <laughs> Gonna leave you all behind and face the truth. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Uh, this is a bit irregular, but I will allow it because this will take a fedora roll to see if you uh, spot this. Okay. I won't leave them to go get it myself. I'll just spot the person and like head back so that we can, while they're Granted. sweet talking this way. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Okay. That's a 12. Holy shit. I've got a, I got a six. So yeah, that's. 
Nice. You, you you skedaddle out from under the table, and now with your low height, like everyone is like you, you're at people's like knees or thighs at best, and no one's paying attention to you. You just kind of scamper about, and you just kind of peek out a little bit in the direction of the bar, and you see this um, individual in front of that opening with where the two uh, bar tables kind of uh, would join. And you see this kind of uh, rotund um, male figure with this kind of white coat, very tailored, kind of has stockings up to the knees. There's a bit of a sheen on the, on the embroidery on their coat. And you see them present this card, this like stiff paper looking thing to the guards who are a uh, Goliath and a very burly dragonborn individual. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. You see them look at the card and look at the individual. They walk, they, they, they move apart and the rich stout individual walks past them. Right. With the chit in the hand? Yes. Okay. I'm going to scamper back into position and say, hey, hey, this lady is useless, okay? She doesn't have any invitation. Let's, let's, let's get it going. Okay, we need to go to where the bouncers are and 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 nick one off of them if we're gonna get that drink in time you don't want to get get there too late and the barrel's empty and it'll all have been for nothing so okay uh barley grab 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 two of these drinks so we can use them ahead going forward i am going to grab two of those drinks See if that works now now all. that we are in plain view of the humans which are the dwarves in this case at this table i would like a trench coat roll to uh, dexterously grab two of these uh, already fine uh, gin drinks at the table. Yeah. I, I failed this once. It's not going to happen again. Here we go. <laughs> That's a 10. And I have a hey. Nice. Nice. You succeed. So uh, as yeast comes back to the table and like just connects themselves uh, to the trench coat operation, uh, the two arms jut out and deftly grab these. Uh, two glasses filled with gin and now has them ready at the side. Nice. Okay. Are we ready to get up? Three. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Two. One. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just for funsies, um, Yeast, can I get a trench coat roll? Because this is yes, a, a more different, different operation than just walking around. Oh, another 10. Perfect. Mm, nice. no, no issue. The whole, like, kind of, hmm. and you're up. Yeah. The dwarf is oh. like, no, come back. As you no, start no, no. moving away, I assume? Yeah. Yes. As All we're, right. as we're, like, readjusting, I'm like, no, oh, just a little high, a little low. And, and, <laughs> like, okay, that's perfect. Walking over, uh, we're basically making our way towards the guards, right? Is yeah. That... Yep. Okay. There's uh, two uh, bouncers that are standing in front of the uh, pathway between the long bar that cuts across the entire uh, tavern here. Is right, anybody oh. like making their way towards? Sorry, go on. No, uh, 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 go ahead. I think we now have a cycle of interrupting each other. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, uh, I um, I look up. Uh, I look up to, and they're like, hey, I think, like, th- do we really need a ticket? Could we kind of try to smooth talk us by these guards? Think to have, like, I mean, the, the whole thing about being family, that Malou, the, 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 the seventh, the, the, the I, fifth, the, the thirteenth, maybe, uh, one maybe of I them. Butter them up with that. I, I, if that doesn't work, then give them the drinks and be like, it's a treat from us. But, but these drinks look delicious. I want to have a sip. Can we, you can, can have an can even better sip. sip later. You can have a better okay. sip later, but if you're patient now. So, you know, think long term. Think long term. Oh, long term reward versus short term reward. Exactly. My greatest enemy. All right. All right. Let's do that. I thought your greatest enemies was seas, but uh, apparently not. It's fine. Man, seas are terrible, but holding off on a reward, that's also hard. For a lot of personal developments still left in me, you know. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. At least you're aware of this. It's becoming really introspective for a conversation in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep it moving. Okay, I mean, okay. I mean, so what? We've we've lost our invitation, and we're gonna smooth talk our way in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. We got this. We just gotta get right out of here. That's all. Exactly. And I'm gonna... hey. it's, what, it's what you always say in your sleep, Galileo, Galileo. Yeah. We go exactly. home. That's that's just a warning sign. Right. Oh, that all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good one. If anything goes yeah. wrong, yeah. Figaro. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Gotcha. Oh, all right. Oh, so the I, trench coat well. operation yeah. moves to the to where the two bouncers are, and you see yeah. them kind of tersely looking, their chests puffed out. You know, their big impressive biceps clearly showing that they are the bouncers. They are the gatekeepers here, and they see you approaching. Uh, while we're approaching, I would switch. I would switch places with uh with Mole. Yeah, let's do that. To, uh... yeah. They are uh, actively watching you approach. Uh, can we take a detour so that detour. we blend back into the crowd? Um, at, at, as you start to take a detour, however, you uh start hearing this very small yip 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 yip, yip and What's one that? of the guards turns around, is like, Ugh, leans down right behind them, pulls and uh, like drags forward this uh, little uh, carrier uh, uh, cart and like the tiniest little like chihuahua dog in a sweater. It's like, yip, 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 yip. Oh, no. you see the dragonborn <laughs> lean down oh, and it's no. like, oh no, Twinkles, no, no, no. Daddy <laughs> Twinkles. will take care of you later. Don't worry. He kind of is that, sets is that? himself back up to look at the front and continue this tough facade as you I... move out of the way. I notice twinkles from my peripheral vision inside the trench coat. I just have that. Yeah, yeah. And and I can move them. I don't need their permission. I'm just going to start beelining towards oh, twinkles. God. Okay. I got 99 problems and a bitch is one. <laughs> I, need, I need Yeez to make me a trench coat roll at this advantage because you're being <gasps> held by your, tw by your quirk. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh my God! I rolled an eleven and a twelve. Your love dog power for Twinkle. Dog As power. You, you, I, I, I correct me if I'm wrong. You move the entire cobalt operation to like smack in front of the guards. You were there. You move yeah. back. Yeah. And you, whoop. Yep. 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 Okay, you're yep. in their faces. The no, hot air balloon guys that kind of like inflate and, and deflate. Yeah, and, basically and, and, and into that. And, and 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 where Molt and I were we like in the middle of switching yeah. places or something? Yeah. Was it like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, Korieva, like with the two Korieva, uh yeah, in the hand. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So okay. and then we're suddenly like whoop pulled in that direction. Okay, I would like from the two switcheroos at least. I want you both to make trench coat rolls, and you both have to succeed for this Korieva to not fall over. If I roll at my actual trench coat draw, that is a number, success. You meet it or uh, lower. Uh, my trench coat is eleven. I rolled an eleven. Wow! Oh, thank goodness. Roll the roll the six. Trench coat four. Nice. A. So oh, awesome. nice. Good rolls all around. So painting the picture, you start moving aside. You start doing the switcheroo, balancing the controls of the sleeve maneuvering mechanism at uh -huh. while yeast decides that they need to go see Twinkles and the switch happens. Yeah. As I'm walking over, I'm just like, is this real life or is this fantasy? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> you hear from around the corner of the bar. I am going to like try to curve around the bar so I can say hello to Twinkles, my, my new friend. Amazing. You the cobalt uh, or the operation or the whole trench coat operation? Oh, the whole the whole operation. Whole operation. We'll just we'll be like, ah, no, we lost. All it. right. So so that was yeast go. I believe next in the uh, initiative is mold. I, I'm now just... in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the middle. Uh, I'd be like, hold on, Barley. This one's gonna be a rough ride. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm going to let basically yeast lead by the feet. So we're going to be that people like who's just an incline moving forwards <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, so that we could get at least get to twinkles. And then maybe once uh, yeast has calmed down, we'll figure out what to do. 
Okay, but there are two bouncers. Uh, they can try to stop us if they have an issue with this. It's fine. They are going to be like, you can't come back here. This is private access only, says the dragon board with the like stiff uh, right. presence. Uh, it's a dragon ball? Yes. It's like scale buddy to scale buddy, right? Just like homie? One scale to another scale? Brethren? Fire brother? What's up? Uh, I'm just saying, you let us through and uh, we got some drinks that you can enjoy. And, you know, I just want to check out the dog, actually. You're in you, the middle you say that, of the top. Yeah, you say that while being oh, in yeah, the Oh, no, yeah. At this point, <laughs> Wall has completely forgotten that he's in the middle. And he's <laughs> just barely talking at this point. Whoops. <laughs> As this happens, you just hear from the bottom. Very softly, just go, the rules had just begun. <laughs> And now Mold has gone and thrown it all so, away. So the guard is now like looking at you intently. Mm -hmm, looks mm -hmm. at your stomach. Tries to look behind you if there's someone I there. Hide, I hide further behind into the court, realizing what I've done. But is oh, there anything uh, you're doing uh, in, in your in your place as the body mold? Other, you don't have to, but you, you I, 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 I'll, I'll just stick the hands out so that the drinks are front and center instead of uh, me. Yeah. Okay, so can you make me that, um, well, that is a, 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 a physical kind of interaction, so you can make Oof. me a trench coat roll. I literally have a trench coat of 11, and I've already mm -hmm. rolled 11 once. Ah, uh, it's a four. That was going to fail. Yeah, four. So. I'm you, telling you, grab mini. You, 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 you extend one, ha you extend one yeah. hand, and the drink kind of goes sideways and uh -huh. kind of empties out onto the ground. You still have one more Kurieva. A thing, and the uh, the Goliath is like, like really looking annoyed and pissed at you. I believe now it is Barley's turn. What would you like was... to do as the I'm, head? I'm, I'm just going once. Uh, once Mold is finished, I'm just going like, <clears throat> oh, 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 apologies. Uh, it's a little <laughs> thing I, little thing I picked up on my journeys. You see, <laughs> I've been sailing all over Eberron, picked up a few tricks. This is. Uh, Sharn belly speaking. And I also picked up some interesting languages. Have you ever heard of uh, Zemnian? What about Zemnian? Says the Goliath. Well, as my family member Malu the second told me before I, Malu the, the fifth, left for my journey. He said, Malu, 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 Malu. Learn languages. Wow. I followed yeah. that advice. It struck me at my core. And as they say in Zemnian, das Butterbrot mit Butter fällt immer auf die gebutterte Seite. It's a wisdom that tells you that everything that has butter on it falls on the buttered side. Butter, B, Barney, B Bucket. Nice to meet you. I mean, uh, uh, Malou, Malou the fourth, the, the fifth, the fifth. The, uh, a sunglasses <laughs> check as the Goliath turns to his uh, Dragonborn companions like, that's a human language, right? The the, the last sites are human, right? Uh -huh. Human? Uh, a seven, and I have two sunglasses. Oh, oh boy. fuck yeah. Let's go. And, and they start muttering to each other like, oh, this stupid rich and they learn like all these oh, who the heck's gonna waste money like learning a language that no one else speaks you know what you know what isn't a waste what isn't a waste this fine drink that we should get here but unfortunately we um as they say in Zemnian have Faloran our invitation which is very schadenfreude and uh we felt a bit of wanderlust to get back here and uh, uh, Malou the fifth uh you're welcome to come through but I have to say just because we do not have these same opportunities and experiences does not mean that you can come around and and loud your your high and mighty standing before us hard working working folk and you're just making me feel bad I am I am most sorry that was not my intent. You 
are doing a great, great job here. I admire how safe this place is, and I could have not done it myself better. Don't ever feel like you're not a hardworking and good person. My sailing. other cousin, Malou the Third, before I went sailing, he told me, Malou, be kind to other people. And I try to be that. So if I hurt you, Malou the Fifth apologizes in the name of all Malou's. Will, will you put in a good word here with the boss? Is Malou the boss? No, the boss is S Stormlord Varin. Has he been mean to you? No, he's very kind. He always does, he pay... does well on his winter day bonuses. And is he, uh, is he good in shift scheduling? He, he's very considerate. He's he's in the back if you want to meet with him. All right. I give like I give Barney like a knock saying yes, do that. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry, a um, little bit of uh, heartburn there. Uh, but um, what's your name, good friend? <laughs> it's a question Gun every DM loves. Gunner. Come again? Gunner. 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 I'm going to walk in there in the back. And if we see your boss, I'm going to say, boss man, Gunner. He's a real, like, you should give him not just a B, you should give him an A. Thank you, sir. Hey, partner, can I have some time with your emotional therapy dog as he moves aside? And you're welcome to go through. As, can I say that I've taken this time to sort of like just, you know, to, from just the bottom, just like the foot play with... Been with the the dog, basically, just one foot has been playing with the dog. You you you, 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 could, you, you could have swung your tail like into the carrier and like. Yeah, kind of yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do that. And and as we're moving, when I hear the cue for us to move further in, I'll just very softly say, "Didn't mean to make you cry." But keep keep it moving ahead. Lovely. Oh, so my dear cobalt. Whoops, I did a thing. Sorry. I wanted to move no the board. Oh god, there's there's more rooms. So let's say that you've moved past the bar and you're in this little kind of empty secluded hallway. Okay. And uh you see in front of you uh three doors. One is labeled WC and this is probably the bathroom. Uh, one has like a picture of a broom and the other has like, uh, is this nice old antique wooden door with like this, uh, velvet rope, uh, hung between two standing poles. Can, can we roll, can we roll Fedora to see if we can figure out which one's the door we should be going? Yes. <laughs> all right. You can uh, all roll Fedora for this. Yeah, okay. I, I rolled high enough, so that's okay. fine. I want to hear what the answer is. Yeah. I rolled a seven, which is above my thing. Your, so. your fedora? Yes, it is. Nice. I have a fedora of ten, and I rolled a one. Let's go. I think you you're, you're on top. Where do you think? I'm on top. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking. You said there's like one sign with a WC on it. Uh -huh. I'm just staring at it, wondering why there's no B in it. Mm. They're like the worst letters. Wait, I mean, who names a letter W? That's uncreative. Right. Call it right? something like W or something like that. That's that's better. We're getting distracted. Which way should we go? Well, Mold, Mold could know because this is a secluded room and you all kind of peeked out your little cobalt snaps to look yeah. around. I, I think we should go to the one with the velvet fancy cord, but... Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I agree with you. Look, I'm just, I'm too annoyed by the lack of the letter B here. You, you take the lead. Very well. Uh, all right. Do you need a moment to recover from the lack of bees on that no. door? No, no. Are you sure? Fine. You know, you know, you know, disappointment, you know, is part of life and we got to just process it. 
you know? Yeah. What you're saying is live, love, uh, love, laugh, love. Is, is that what you're going at? Like my favorite uh, sign at home. Exactly. Fair enough. What, what does that sound in Zemian like? Oh, I think it's something uh, like uh, uh, Liebe, Liebe, Lache. <laughs> So uh, you're, you're in this secluded uh, hallway. So if you, this is also a good time for switcheroos. Should you be interested in? Oh, somebody, somebody, get me out of this head position. Yes. Uh... Sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> From the heart start. <laughs> Ida. Oh, wow. this, is, this is horde of tales after hours, yo. Don't clip yeah. this. <laughs> Please clip this. Everyone's just sitting there like, yeah, that's wait, no. Uh, wait a second. Our cobalt masters off the rails. Uh, I I've been I've been uh, head for a while now. Uh, I I feel like it's time for me to be a bottom. I mean, Yeast could totally not bottom. necessarily be the okay. bottom if 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 that's what Yeast is okay with. It's up to Cobalt. You're 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 all in charge here. Where, Are you sure you want me to talk? That that never works for us. Or you can be in the middle. You, you call. Me. But but yes yes you you share so much wisdom. You have this collection of lyrics. They always help. There's always a kernel of truth in them. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I just you know it's we've got to. It's mercurial how how um, uh, astute your observations are. Thank you very much. It's you know, uh, it's an absolute rhapsody for me <laughs> listening to you. Uh, Have you ever considered visiting Bohemia? I heard it's a nice place. <laughs> and it's a bit too far from Eperon, but do you uh, feel my under cousin pressure? Freddy? Oh. <laughs> he he really likes that place. Uh, do, you, do you ever feel under pressure for all the you know all the wisdom that you have to deliver at short notice? And uh, well. Do you ever try to, do you just want to be free? You know, I honestly, I just, I just look up at the sky and see like, um, I know I'm a poor kobold, but I don't need no sympathy. It's all good. Like, let's just. What you're saying is that it's all about that queen energy. Sure. Yes. It is very much about that queen energy. Oh well, my God. It just got. So, so what are, what are my kobold orders then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeast on top. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. No, no, no. Yeast in mid. Okay, fuck it. I'll commit. Yeast on top. Okay. Yeast on top. Who's in With the, the bread in the middle. <laughs> so, so, so yeast goes on top. Mold, mm. you go on the bottom. Or yeah, in the I'm in the bottom. I'm in the bottom. 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 Okay, yeah. and barley is back at arm duty in the middle. Yeah. Okay. It's only end well. So, you're all right, my dear cobalts. What do you do? I'll, but let's I'll, let's start in this case. Um, you know, let's just switch it up. Uh, give me a uh, give me those um initiative rolls. Uh, Shupa, name name me a stat. Name me a stat. Any stat. Uh, uh, sunglasses. All right, everyone, give me sunglasses roll. Okay. Okay. I feel that I rolled a two sunglasses. Three. Oh my god. Two. I have a ten, and I rolled a ten. Nice. I, uh, I have a two in sunglasses and I rolled a four. Oh, so the highest is in that case barley, followed by mold, followed mm -hmm. by yeast, if I understand that correctly, because yeah. 10 minutes has zero. Uh, I, I rolled a two, so and that's under three, so I would, I would be worse than yeast, I think. Right? So barley, yeast, mold. Barley, yeah. yeast, barley mold. yeast, mold. Yeah. Barley, yeast, mold. Sounds like mold a recipe. Generally not as good. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you see mold in your fermentations, throw it out, okay? Throw it out. So, barley. What do you do? So we have there's this there's also this this curtain nearby, right? There was like we have they, yeah we had the door with the WC on it, and there was like this curtain. There was there was the door with the WC, the door with like a, a picture of a broom on it, and mm -hmm, then a mm -hmm. nice door that is cordoned off with a, a velvet rope. But your oh. fellow kobolds have decided that that's probably the door you should head into. Oh, it's a door, so it's cordoned off with a velvet rope. Yes. But there's no one. There's no one in front of it. No. I then would like to, as graceful as possible, remove the velvet rope. 
And maybe uh, if it if it if it's possible, if I'm graceful enough, slink it around like a scarf then. So we have a velvet oh, scarf. Very fancy. Very fancy. Uh, you're at the you're in the I'm middle. middle. I'm in the middle. In the middle. I got the I arms. Like, then I would like a trench coat roll from you, please. Trench coat. That's a five and I have four. So oh. you extend those arms and then you just kind of unclip that one side of the uh, velvet rope, you unclip the other and you sling it around yeast's neck or head. Can I can I include like that with the hands? I do a bit of voguing once I have the Amazing. thing on, like do a little bit of... Yeah. You are voguing to a closed door. Exactly. <laughs> I <laughs> will take smize you. to add to the effect. Perfect. Nice. The, the legs are happy to comply as well. You just hmm. see, a f I don't know why we are solo doing this in the middle of a corridor, but let's, <laughs> sounds like something the kobolds would do. Okay, open the door. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I kick at the door to kind of knock it. Or do wait, do we, can you open it? We can open it, right? Or do we knock on it? You can open it if you, you want to open it or do you want to knock? You tell me. I'll, I'll let the head, head and the body take care of this. I'm just standing guard with the legs. Literally oh. standing guard. Hey, <laughs> what's going on, Cobalt? I turn down to Barley and I say, "Open the door. Let's go." You're you're right. you're knocking or pulling? Tell me. You're just pulling it open. No, 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 no. Malou the fifth does not have to knock. He has <laughs> to. He just he opens and he enters. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fancy. We oh, this map, map don't end. OK, I need to again. What? Oh, god, what? it's so bright. Walk into okay. the tap room like the what I got hit it? Yes, perfect. Nice. All right. So you enter, you burst in through this door uh, with the velvet cordon around the neck and hands framing your face, smizing. Well, before you, you see this uh, much emptier room compared to that very busy tavern that you left. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the room is this long table filled with very fancy and expensive looking finger foods, all these little uh, petit fours and small pastries. You see like this beautiful like um, puff pastry swan in the middle of the thing, all manner of breads and cheeses and dried uh, sausages fancy knives and silver on the top. In the periphery of the room, you see all these uh, metal cylinders, all uh, these brassy copper colors and kind of connected with all manners of tubings and swirls. Uh, you see various uh, valves and gaskets with uh, their little uh, symbols kind of flickering back and forth. There's bubbles and like small hissings of steams going around across all these fats. And in this room are, I will say, let's say another six to seven uh, very finely dressed individuals, including oh. that earlier pompous looking person that Yeast saw in the very fancy uh, tailored white coat. And right. they all have like these tiny little glasses uh, kind of going the oh, 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 kind of aristocratic <laughs> laugh. And you see in uh, let's say the far right corner, yeah. uh, you see one individual kind of lean down like this and look, Ma, no hands. And as the other <laughs> aristocrats are going, oh, wow. chug, 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 as <laughs> right. ascertain that they are drinking this Kurieva in a very unhygienic manner, straight mouth on the spout. Ugh. Amazing. You burst uh, through, and several people just kind of turn to look at the person who has entered. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, wait, Barley went. East went, right? Whose turn is it? I think it is. It's, it's probably. Uh, I I uh, I'll I'll turn to uh, Barley and be like. Uh, Blended, blended. Just say whatever they're saying. Yeast is on top, well, right? You're, you're on. Yeast, yeast is on top, yeah. So. All uh, oh, right, yeast. I'll say that to yeast. I'll be like, just say what they're saying. Right. 
oh, I look around and I do the laugh best I can. And, and, and then I then I tap my stomach and I say, let me just turn on uh, the, the fanciest new invention from Sharn, which is my internal interpreter and translator. And I I, I just tap uh uh barley's face a few times um, is this thing on grün gelb rot okay that's the wrong language give me one and, and and then i and then i like twist a few dials on my tummy and and caught by the snout and i'm like common speak common Je suis le chat. We're getting there. It's just a prototype. It's very expensive, but keep turning it. Guten Tag. God damn it. <laughs> it's fine. Hello, everybody. I would like a group um, uh, sunglasses okay, as long as for it's this not performance. Me, thank goodness. Yeah. So, sunglasses, group sunglasses. A group sunglasses uh, check. We got this. We got All this. Right. How? <laughs> Again, I rolled a fucking 10. What is going on with these dice? <laughs> None of the dice, everyone. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They're not loaded, I promise. Uh -huh, sure. Why my dice? Sure. Uh, I rolled a 10, so and my sunglasses is a 3. Perfect. And uh, I rolled a 5, my sunglasses is a 2. Neat. So the stuffy aristocrats who saw this like very brash entrance kind of slack jawed a bit and like oh, how rude, how 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 uncouth and they see and they see yeast fiddling with oh my what a what a clever contraption. Oh oh isn't it just amazing? Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Oh, and I start to bow investment opportunities. Of course, there's a permit back in Sharn where we make these. Yes, all, all business transactions must be concluded with a drink and with with under the auspicious blessings of our host. And they lean and and the rich aristocrat gestures towards the the man. Uh, mm. Now there are who is leaning over onto the tap. Right. And you see two other individuals stand behind uh, them and each grab a leg and lift it, helping this uh, lord do sort of, let's call it a, a, a gin stand. If you're familiar with it. keg stands. Is All that right. Stormlord Varen? Uh, would you like to give me a sun, uh, uh, sorry, a fedora check? Sure. Oh, that's a one. I don't know. That's impressive, whatever the heck they're doing. <laughs> All right. Um, that was ye that was yeast, so barley. What would you like to direct to do? Barley? I well, someone just uh poked my nose and everything <laughs> and uh And now you can I talk without it to... being weird, so you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> that is true. That's clever. Uh, so I'm still I'm still in the middle, and they're asking us if we also want to do a gin stand uh, for them to seal the business deal. Um, are we already close to where they're doing the gin stand? I will say that you are behind. Let's say you're on the on the map on the right side of the table, and the Got gin it. stand is happening in the right corner. Okay. okay, I would like to kind of already to demonstrate that we're serious business to grab whatever kind of mug or glass with drinks is on the table near us mm -hmm. and just, and just, you know, chuck it down, like you know, bring it up to, 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 uh, uh, to yeast mouth and try to get it chucked down. Yeah. Then I would I'll like drink. from you, uh, fr from uh, Barley, the trench coat roll, and from Yeast, oh my, I, I, I get physicality. It's a physicality. I have a trench coat roll as well. Oh shit. Okay. My trench coat roll I, is a five, and I have trench coat four. 
Excellent. Roll was seven, and my trench coat is two. So, the arm just kind of like like a really smooth whip <laughs> grabs like this a uh, beautiful crystal fluted gin uh, glass and definitely moves it towards the face and uh, yeast. You lean back just in time and open your maw while maybe ensuring that your face is still hidden with the trench coat labels. Ah, mm-hmm. down the hatch it goes. Yeast, this is this is delicious. There's like this kind of nice spicy fruitiness to it, and it's so smooth. It tastes so much better than even what you had back in the tavern that was expensive that you put on the owner's tab. This is exquisite. And this is what we're here for? Uh, Mm, I need to find a way to make mold and barley have some of this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, oh, another. And I'll hold, and I'll like, I mean, I can't hold it out, but I hope that that Barley follows lead and holds out our hands for more of these. Uh, Do you speak or do you have your interpreter speak? Well, I I will say another. I'd like a sunglasses. uh, Oh, shit. Uh, meanwhile, I'm using the pan zipper pee hole to kind of get an eye on what's going on. You, oh, you would rolled. notice that there are spouts uh, molds uh, on all of these caskets, but they're also like for the humans, kind of at knee level, which happens to right. be cobalt smelt level. Um, right. uh, yeast, what was your roll? I rolled a six. The the extra card is like, oh. Ho, 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 ho. You are welcome to have another drink, but you must have it directly from the tap, as is the tradition in the tap room. Of course. How you silly of me. We are not complaining. Uh, I, I'll say to... Uh, wait, Barley's above me, right? No, below uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, no fl- uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, middle, middle cobalt, middle cobalt. All right, let's take turns, let's take turns. Okay. We're going to make our way towards the keg. Please step aside, everybody. I say very loudly, hoping that uh, mold at the bottom (laughs) is the hint. Yeah, I'll definitely follow that lead. Yeah. Make me a trench coat roll mold as you move the operation. And I I roll an eight. And uh, yeah, trench coat is 11, so that's a fail. You start to move forward, and I will say that um, you kind of stumble forward. Mm-hmm. Um, Barley, can I get a trench coat roll? A trench coat roll? Oh, God. Yeah. Are we going to disassemble if you fail? Oh, let's go. Yeah. I have a four in trench coat. Do not disappoint me. Let's go. It's a four on the die. And hey. trench coat. As as the, the movement is uncertain, and Mold is really not sure where to go, and just kind of trips over his own tail, as he starts falling forward. But Barley, in this impressive planking maneuver, catches you and starts doing push-ups. Good save. Good save. As as yeast is 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 kind of like. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I I must uh, exercise before I approach the keg, because uh, we all know alcohol isn't the best for our uh, body. I'll. Uh, I try to take care of myself. I'll try to make it so that it's a it's a what do you call it? Uh, what what do you call it? Stretch where it's like a dog. It's a dog stand. A downward so dog. A downward, downward, downward dog. dog. Yeah, yeah. So basically, move from a push up to a downward dog, and then eventually help. Like lift us back up into one position. Yeah. Now right, I am ready conflicts. to approach the keg, which is towards my right. Okay. With, with, with this uh, directed goading, the uh-huh. operation just kind of like hops, hops, hops over to the right side as directed by yeast. So you are standing in front of the uh, one very uh, um, tall cylindrical, like 
beautifully kind of hammered out pattern of vats where Kurieva gin is being held. There is a, a tap, a spigot, at where knee length would be to the other humans. And if you look over, you would see that uh, there's a full uh, handstand happening on the spout to the right. What are you doing, my dear kobolds? I look down at where Barley is, and I say, Interpreter, now is your time to shine. Do it. Well... <laughs> Please let us have something of this drink. Or as the translation would say, Zaufen, 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 Zaufen. Amazing. Uh, um, I, I'll start repeating that so that it just sounds like the body is echoing the sound. I'll start saying it too. And then like, oh. I'll just like deftly try to from inside where my hands are just make a little opening for uh uh for barley to have a quick because barley is currently at the right height to just have a drink yeah. from yeah yeah so go for it so while you... people are chanting that word i'm just gonna try to get in there and take a sip all right yep. i want i want a group sunglasses check for this distraction <sighs> Uh, you have to roll above, right? Yeah, I rolled a twelve. Uh, equal, so. equal to or above? Yeah, I failed. I rolled a five. Same, same here. Roll a seven. Have a two. <gasps> hey, okay, go. Uh, you start moving uh, forward, and uh, this little snout kind of comes out of the jacket because ah ah ah. <laughs> but the movement and and as everyone's looking, it's like oh. Oh, they're going to do it just like the storm lord kind of jostles you and the spout kind of just hits like the side of your head and not right where it's supposed to go no. as there are people now surrounding you and someone is saying oh, we can grab your legs if you'd like oh, oh boy oh, that boy. will not be necessary uh, where we come from it is considered very disrespectful for aristocrats to be touching other aristocrats' legs. You wouldn't want to be doing that, would you? It's it's dishonorable, honestly. Sunglasses check. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right, <laughs> interpreter? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, genau, genau. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you, uh, you hear one of the voices come from the body, it's like, if you touch our legs, we will rock you. Group. Yes. <laughs> group group sunglasses. Group sunglasses. Or... Let's go. I roll an eight. I passed. Doesn't Drani have to make another sunglasses check? No, then? we're gonna count it. We're gonna count our okay. uh, roll. I failed with an eight. Cobalt? Are the two cobalts? I, I succeeded. I got an eight. Uh, okay. my sunglasses is three. I rolled an eleven with my sunglasses of two. Oh thank god. <laughs> Well, I guess we shall be uh, respectful of, of, of cultures. Please, uh, drink in the manner of your, uh, your your native land, and we shall do a cultural exchange. Got yes. It. So, one of the ways we drink in our native land, and my interpreter can back me up here, <laughs> is that we, we do something that is called bottom feeding. It's it's actually oh. found in plants where you rest the pot on top of a bowl of water and let the roots absorb the water from bottom up. It's been very beneficial. Oh, I was expecting this to be far dirtier than what it actually was. <laughs> it's also the... called butt chugging in certain circles. Of um, course it is. Uh, however, for today, let's just stick to bottom watering. And the way it works is that we will... Uh, step into the vat itself and have a sip of our own. Uh, I think who's ever at the the bottom two at least. I'm going to need trench coat rolls for this I'll physical that, yeah. maneuvering. Uh, uh, I kid you not. So I have to do a trench coat. I rolled a 12 and my <gasps> trench coat is 11. Nice. Oh my god, that's amazing. And, 
end of the you said the bottom two, right? So yeah, yeah. I also have to do one. Mm -hmm. you're sort of lifting the arms a little bit of the trench coat to give the illusion of getting up and over yeah. the spigot. I uh, have a trench coat of four and I rolled a two. Okay, okay, okay. So the arm movement doesn't quite happen lifting the trench coat. But like the some legs... human centipede stuff at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, we got rated high! You're, you're, you, we just started butt chugging! Oh. <laughs> Time for the butt chugging fun with three kobolds in a trench coat! Oh let me, let me paint you a Don't scene, Raiders. We have three kobolds in a trench coat, and they are next to this giant vat of uh, uh, Eberron gin, and they want to get a drink from a spout that is at the bottom. Of and course. they decided that the best way to do this is to kind of get the spout underneath their trench coat. Now, the hand contraption wasn't able to lift the trench coat up to get it up and over, but the whole operation does move back into the trench coat. Sorry, sorry. The whole operation does move into the spigot area up properly. So you see, indeed, the spigot kind of poke through the fabric of the, the trench coat. It's right there, just separated by some fabric. What do you do? I, like, come on, Barley. You can do this. Don't I was don't new. don't don't become a Z now. Be the B you are. Rise to be an A. It's <sighs> not meant to be a C. I'm a B, and today I'll become an A. And I just want to grab the spigot with the hands. And can I like if I grab it? Could I like? manipulate it so that we're just getting showered in this delicious delicious gin that we've been working hard towards you would have to tear a hole through the fabric because the arms did not succeed in lifting the trench coat over the spigot but, but you could do that. if i tear a hole through the fabric mm -hmm. that would destroy our trench coat you'd have a hole okay yeah. and we're back practically at our goal yeah and once yeah. we do that, we're gonna bathe in the delicious taste and die. of this delicious gin. <laughs> at this point, at this point, uh, Mold's already like enjoyed a bit of the drink, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're like, yeah, in there. No, yeah, we just hear already. We, we we hear the sleeping sound, the, the 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 slurping sounds already coming. Like, no, Mold missed the drink. Yeast okay. got the drink. Yeast okay. got the drink. So this is a twofer if you're going to if you're going to commit to this. Okay, let's do it. I need nah, to drink. Totally. I'm going to rip some old through the fabric and I want to just make sure that we can bathe in the delicious yeah. taste. Uh, make me a, a fedora roll to like expertly make a hole through your thing to so you know where to cut like along the line of the fabric. Oh God, a fedora roll. I just want to point out that this roll, this fedora uh, roll is my worst stat. And could we help? Is there any way I can get support on you this? Tell, tell, tell me how you would help in yeah. this endeavor. I, I will be, I, uh, what I'm going to be like is like, pancakes, goddamn toast. I say, <laughs> I, 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 I'll basically like stitch there and there. And, and, and you see how my claws are pointing to the areas where you should try to cut. Uh, make me a fedora roll. Uh, what, what if you roll that fedora together then? Let's see. If okay. at least one of you succeeds, a whole is happening. I succeeded. Hey, thank goodness. Just in case, man. Yeah, Harley? I rolled an eight, an eight. So, so glad that I got some support <laughs> on that. Nice. The hole comes a bit sloppily, and you, e even if you failed the roll, the yeah. hole would have happened. Would have been like this big gash at the end. Yeah. But this time it's like maybe a fist-sized hole, and you <laughs> barrel through the, rip through the, fa to the fabric, sort of a uh -huh. controlled manner. The spigot is in there, and now it's inside the trench coat. Do you just let it go? Uh, I mean, we open the tap and start drinking. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Gook, gook. It is delicious. And, and is one spiced. of us starts singing, we are the champions. champions. <laughs> no time for seas, cause we are <laughs> the, the champions. As the whole trench coat starts swaying back and forth. <laughs> And as uh, Yeast is kind of sitting, like sitting facing forward uh, at, at the other aristocrats and, and the high important guests, as 
the back of the trench coat and the sides starts slowly getting darker and darker with the with the stains and liquids being absorbed by the spilling gin as I you see. all enjoy this amazing drink having succeeded your goal Huzzah! Hey! All right. My three cobalt. I, oh, I, I, have was there. I was thinking. I was thinking, feeling that cobalt don't have a very high alcohol tolerance, and this oh, might also be the yeah, last. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god! Wow. And, as okay. as we all have our sips, I'm just like, oh, mama mia, mama mia, this is so good. <laughs> um. oh. Beautiful. That was amazing. You, my Cobalt, you are amazing, amazing players. That was so much fun. And yeah, we went there. Okay. <laughs> but there, okay. There, there was a point at which you were saying something about the hole being fist size and the spigot coming through. And I'm like, I, I went there. I was like, yeah. I don't know how much of this is intentional anymore. <laughs> I, I know what I need. I need. From this one shot, I need like a super cut where we put together every time Indrani does a Bohemian Rhapsody lyrics, and yep, yep. just to see how far we can come with a super cut of that to Bohemian ah. Rhapsody. Agreed. I'll, I'll that will be best. amazing. <laughs> I'll do my best. I dropped, I dropped a couple obscure ones there, so if you find them all, I'll be very impressed. Uh, and Johnny, I, I know you have to uh, go very soon. So uh, if you want, I you can uh, give any plugs, anything you're working on, anything oh. you're excited about before you have to oh go. My goodness. And everyone else yes. can do this a bit more slowly, but you can go first. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Andrani. Um, I played uh, Yeast Sourdough Starter today. Um, you can find me on the internet as at Nona Garden Dice. I'm a handmade dice maker and TTRPG streamer from Mumbai, India. I have a couple of things to plug. So bear with me. I have a shop update coming up this April. Um, I will be selling uh, like 10 really pretty, I think, sets of handmade dice. So if you're interested in like getting your hands on them, you can follow me on social media or sign up for my mailing list on nanogondice.com. And the second thing I have to plug is 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 Daisies and Dragons. I'm the co-founder of Daisies and Dragons with with uh, Mold, aka Shubham, right here, and our friend Chirag, who I don't know if he's still awake. But uh, we're the co-founders of India's largest TTRPG community. And we stream here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Dragons every Wednesday at some ungodly hour for you folks, I think. But it's like, Ida, back me up. What time do you drop by on our streams? I don't even uh, know. At Central European time, it's usually at 3. So GMT plus 1, 2, 4, 3? Like in the afternoon, mid afternoon, not... mid afternoon, oh, mid afternoon. So yeah. that is a uh, morning uh, EST. Yeah. Awesome, perfect. I take your word for it. So come see us there if you'd like. We're on our way to our first hundred uh, followers on Twitch. So if you like what we do there, please, please come on over. Uh, and we have an interview coming up with uh, uh, Momentos. Uh, soon, and that's going to be done by Shubham. He should have plucked that, but sorry, I'm panicking. Um, but yeah, that's everything. <laughs> so nice cool. to be here. I love Ida and I love Horde of Tales. It's so great that I finally got to. Marcus uh, is cool too. Marcus, you're cool, but like, I love Ida. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ida is my. Uh, I, I, I got to be her inner demon once, and that was oh, yeah. uh, a she's, bonding she's moment for that. us. Yeah, that sounds you. like the best way to bond with someone. Right. Yeah, so I dropped some tweet, let some links for you in in the chat. So thank you so much for joining us, for joining us and joining. It was an honor to play with you. When you need to go, you can do your Irish goodbye and just fade into the dark. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, we can uh, sit and chat with uh, Marcus and Shupam just a little. Uh, anything you want to plug, Shupam? Uh, no, that's uh, uh, everything was done by Nani. So I'm good. I'm good. Just whatever she said. That's that's all. Uh, no, other than that, um, yeah, it's at Lork underscore Garden on Twitter. Um, currently working on a uh, campaign setting, uh, which will hope for, like it's a campaign setting primer uh, where I'm exploring like post-colonial um, fantasy, which will be hmm. yeah. It's kind of taking the idea of what if. Um, this is interesting because I feel like I also want to talk to uh, you know Marcus about I, I I don't know about your kind of uh, heritage but uh, Marcus just because you have a Dutch background if I'm not mistaken right 
German Dutch. Yeah. German Dutch. Okay. So there's a yeah. Uh, basically, the whole campaign setting is kind of based on the idea of like you can't pretend that colonialism didn't happen, but what if it was still fantasy and in a fantasy world, and then you pick up the story from afterwards as the nations are rebuilding after that. Uh, hmm. But also like the, everyone else is also affected and it's this hope punk kind of thing. Uh, I'm looking forward to sharing that. Uh, other than that, um, Emerald Templars is a really cool project yeah. uh, that I'm excited about. It's a neat new TTRPG by D'Angelo, uh, where basically it's a world where there's this group of Templars that are meant to protect it. And for a long time, they have not been needed, but the time is coming again for you know you for you to pick up your blade and i'll be writing uh some lore and world building inspired by indian mythology so looking forward to doing that yeah thank you for letting me talk about that by, by the way shupam we're going yes. to be playing emerald and Templars with d'angelo next month yes i saw that so that's gonna be exciting or whether uh, you want to get the news about that sooner than later yes uh so i'll be starting work on that soon uh yeah it's exciting it's a lot of different uh poc creators from across the world so i think it's cool because it's a nice way for just a lot of different uh, parts of the world to show in one one world. So yeah, keen. Yeah, so excited. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're all like coming into like these awesome projects as well that we can root for you from behind. So yeah, what's up? Oh, I, I mean, uh, is there anything else? Or do you guys want to talk? Because I'm curious as to what's going on with you guys. Oh, oh well, we do. We, we can segue, we... we can segue into that. Marcus, yeah. is there anything else you want to particularly plug? Or I can talk about our, what we do here beyond the, that that you cobalt did well i don't have anything <laughs> particular personally to plug i do like the observation that just come up in chat that i look like boromir on vacation i'm gonna i'm gonna take that, that as a as a very big compliment but um i don't have anything else to plug but so if you wanna uh, should i wanna like share what's coming up on the channel next do you have do you want to do that how you feel take, about that? I could take a bit of that. Um, so we are Horde of Tales. We are uh, mostly European based TTRPG community. Uh, we're just based in Europe, but we have many different perspectives. And uh, we love playing uh, d and We have every week on Tuesdays at two o'clock Eastern Daylight Time or seven o'clock GMT plus one, uh, an ongoing Eberron campaign based on uh, across Eberron's project, Convergence Manifesto. And it is very exciting. Marcus is our DM. I am the uh, wonderful chaotic sorcerer there, and I love shenanigans in there. And I have to say, the shenanigans game here was like, I, I I have yet higher to go. So I will take much inspiration from that. Um, we're a growing community. with this our second year doing this, and we recently reached 400 followers on Twitch. So thank you so much for all the support from the community. And therefore, we decided to celebrate with a giveaway. And I will put a keep up. Oh, all right, keep me to it. If you follow that link and you follow the easy instructions on Glee, we are raffling off a, a one of two across a, a one of two D and D beyond uh, source books. One being Eberron, Rise from the Last War, and the other being a uh, Witch from the Wild Light. And once you follow those instructions, we're going to announce uh, who is going to win from everyone who participated in that link. Uh, next week, Tuesday. So there's quite some time left to participate. Uh, join in the celebration. You get free stuff, and we celebrate being a happy family. Nice. That is certainly something great to celebrate. And I think with that being said, is there anything else you, any last words before we go into our very own tavern, enjoy a gin or whatever drink we want on our own? And uh... not from that spout. Not that spot. Uh, that's about. You know, I don't know if, uh, if you guys have this. My cat every now and then I have this big uh, tankard on my desk, and every now and then my cat thinks that's her drinking bowl, and I have to go throw the water out afterwards. Yep, yep. Yeah. Never, never leave a glass of water unattended around a yeah. cat. It's uh, yeah. gonna be their water bowl. Yep. So do not touch right. that tankard, guys. That's Touchy. that's some <laughs> that's some good wisdom to share before we leave. Once again. Thanks everyone for playing. Uh, Indrani, Indrani already left, but once again, thank you, Indrani. Thank you, Shubham, for being here. Um, Aida, thank you very much for running this. This was a heck of a ton of fun. And I was uh, really, well, hello there. Indrani's still hanging out in chat. I'm 
so glad you organized this and put this together. Um, I hope everyone who tuned in to watch also enjoyed it and had fun. Thank you very much for dropping by. As I, I'd already mentioned, we have a regular game on Tuesdays here. So if you think like, hey, these people on Heart of Tales, they're great. I want to check them out. Check us out on coming Tuesday as well for our Eberron game. And keep yes. an eye on our socials for our any other projects we're planning. We're going to keep you in the loop of what we're doing. And with that being said, take care and see you soon on Heart of Tales. Bye-bye.